No, I'm not using CGI. The sun is genuinely out, and that's hopefully a sign of things to come. Maybe things are going to start getting warmer and nicer weather, finally get out of the uh, disgusting weather we've had all winter. And coming with that is packing down sort of lighter kit, basically. You don't have to take your twin skin bivvy for all those longer nights trying to keep yourself warm and comfortable because if the days are like this and it's as mild as it is today and less no wind and things you don't need as big of a shelter so here we have the fox easy brolly shelter now as you can see next to me packed down it's in a very small unit height wise it's just under six foot i'm six one so that's going to fit in your car the same sort of length as your rods and the best thing about it all is including ground sheet pegs and the barley itself it's just 4.9 kilos so it's not going to weigh you down either easy barley by name easy barley by nature i timed myself from completely in a bag to getting out for the very first time it's the first time i've seen it myself it took 90 seconds from in the bag to free standing state and then a little bit longer to take the center pole out and replace it with the uh, center cap and peg it out but you've got Storm poles, which are already fitted in. I'll talk about them in a second, going on to the inside. But here is my first ever look at it, and it's 120 centimeters tall, 160 centimeters deep, and 250 centimeters wide. I just timed myself once again, putting in the lightweight ground sheet, and it, uh, it flew in 35 seconds to put it in. And that's thanks to the fact that it, it's a perfect fit to start with. It's not one of those that's oversized, undersized, where you can't quite reach one side when it fits perfectly. Other fit perfect first time, and it fastens in place with Velcro strips. There's Velcro on the ground sheet, and there's Velcro on the uh, overlapping sort of skirt from the brolly, so that it just fits in place very quickly, and again can be removed just as quickly as it goes in. As you can see just here, there are storm poles, one on either side, and these are permanently fixed to the brolly. And that's thanks to a unique system where it's secured at the bottom, but this side slides on the rib. So uh, you don't have to unscrew anything. It just makes setup and pack down a lot quicker. There's a little buckle in here with the male and female part. If I just push the finger on that to undo it, there we go. It's now undone, so I can slide that down. So when I'm packing that down, that will slide along the rib and uh, it packs down perfectly. But when you set it up, it's got to slide the rib up. It's going to be a bit tighter because I've got it all pegged out and it clicks into place like so. So you don't have to remove them. It makes it a lot quicker packing it down and a lot quicker setting it up without fumbling around with any threads. Now, rather obviously with this being a brolly, it's based around an oval frame system, but they've designed it so that the four main rear ribs, as you can see, all touch the ground. So there's four points of contact with the ground. Then obviously you've got the storm poles at the front. So it's a very stable shelter, considering how lightweight and uh, easy this is to set up and pack down. It's very stable once up. Moving around to the front, as you can see, we've got some extended side skirts, which just offers a bit more protection from driving wind and rain from the sides. You've also got Velcro rod retaining strap on either side. And under here, you've actually got some more screw threads. If you wanted to put some storm poles in just to push that front up a bit more, give a bit more stability, you can do so. Now the material used is 8,000 millimeter hydrostatic head, 100% polyester. So despite it being nice and lightweight, it still offers you a lot of protection from heavy rain. And if you do something like that, you get a very wet foot instead of all your stuff inside getting wet. If you like this content and more from us, then make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell on YouTube and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Well, I've now moved the shelter from the uh, pathway to the right of me and using it in my swim. And as you can see, I've got my bed chair in here, all the stuff I've brought with me for an overnighter is fitting in here comfortably. Lots of room behind me because this isn't a flat back design. You've actually got a bit of storage space back here. So uh, valuables, bags and things, if you want to tuck them out of the way, you can do. For now, because the weather's nice and dry, I've got the things I need for easy access just in front of me. There's a lot of headroom in here as well, actually. I was quite surprised. I'm sat upright completely and I like to have that in a shelter when I'm fishing so I'm not hunched over. I can still see all the lake in front of me. And uh, despite it being 120 centimetres high, which is, seems quite low, in here with the uh, style and shape of the, the shelter, there's a lot of room in here. A lot of headroom as well, because of the very small sort of central unit. That's quite a small central design and the rib design. This means that the space inside is maximised, rather than having loads of uh, support poles and scaffolding going all over the place. All the space in it is maximised. So small footprint, but a lot of uh, space inside. Now, of course, if there was driving rain from the front, I'm not very protected, but this is geared towards more of a day session, uh, maybe overnight where the weather is a bit nice. But if the wind and rain was coming from behind me, I'd have absolutely no issues with being in here for the night because that's just going to push right around me. Nice and stable as well. Quite a nice place to be. Now, the last thing to bring to you is the price. RRP of $119.99. So if you want more information on this or to pick one up, please head over to the Fox website. Again, make sure that you are subscribed to us on uh, YouTube and hit the bell for notifications for each video. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Just watching and I'll see you again soon.